Hello, this is the walk and run lesson part three. I've actually opened up a file that I had already completed and you should be at this point too. I've got all of the poses, right, and I can kind of scrub through to see how it's going. So if you needed to make any adjustments at each pose, you can do that by looking at the character kind of by itself. And if you need to shut off the bones, remember that you can just click on this checkbox right here if that would help you to be able to determine how you feel about each pose. So before you go on, if you feel like you need to make any small adjustments, you should do that now with each pose and then you can resume this video. When you're ready, we'll set up this cycling. I'll select the uh, keyframes on frame 25 for the character and then right mouse button click. Choose Cycle. And then, this is very important, you have to choose Relative, and we don't want it to return all the way back to frame 1. We want it to return to frame 2. So in this case, I have to go down to the number 23. And if you look in the timeline, you'll see that this small arrow is no longer pointing on one, now it's pointing over frame two. And then you can play it and see how you feel about it. Again, if you felt you weren't happy with any of the poses, one thing I would recommend doing first before you make more adjustments is get the cycling off of there. So you would select everything on frame 25 again, right mouse button click, and go back to smooth. All right, so you've just taken the cycling off. And then you can go ahead and, and um, make any adjustments that you feel like you need to on any of the bones. When you're ready, put the cycling back on, selecting all the keyframes on frame 25, right click, Choose Cycle in that box, choose Relative, change it to 23, and then you can close this. All right, so you've got the cycling back again. Now let's create an action for this cycle so it will be saved and you can reuse it over and over again for this character. Let's dock the Actions panel first. Go up to Window, Docking and choose Actions. All right, that should put it over here in your right side menu. And you can see that I have quite a bit of uh, stuff going on in here already. And I actually already have saved a walk cycle twice, and also I have a run cycle. Go back to frame zero if you're not there already. And then down in the timeline, you want to click and drag and select all the frames from 1 to 25. Leave off um, anything on frame 0. And then copy that. Now in Actions, click on the little button for New Action. And you'll name this Walk and click OK. Now you're in a timeline for the action that you named Walk. You'll see that it is already started on frame 1, which is exactly what you're going to paste, frame 1 from 25. So click on Edit and Paste. And there it is. All right, you've got your cycling action. Now the next thing, be sure that you do this. It's very important double click up here in the actions panel double click on the word main line we've got to be back on the main timeline right now now we'll test and save so click somewhere down the timeline say on frame 72 and then looking over in your actions panel here find wherever you saved that action and click on it and then up here, you do have choices to insert a reference of that walk action or to insert a copy. 
So for now, when you may not be entirely sure that you're happy with it, just go ahead and select a copy. And it should have pasted it in right there. If it didn't, you'll need to go back and find out what you missed. And if it did work, great. Then what you want to do is take all of this and delete. All right? So your character in the main timeline has no more uh, walking motion on it, but it's been saved here in the actions. So if I were to now go to frame one and then click on that walk cycle and then click on the insert copy, it should have pasted it in and I can click on my play button and she'll keep walking until I make her stop. So what you'll want to do is save this character with nothing set up in the main timeline, right? You get rid of all that. So you just have this plain file with just your character. You've got your walk action and probably some other adjustments that you made to fine tune the character earlier. And then do a file, save as, and give your character a new name that maybe includes something in the name description like, um, you know, character with walk, all right? Something along those lines. So get this far along with your character, and I'll continue in the next video.